Hey guys, it's me, Monica. So today I'm coming with a story time. Uh, and this story takes place in 2013. Um, you may want to grab some tissue if you're really emotional, but I don't plan on crying. Hopefully. Okay. So, 2013 was a year. Um, I found out I, that I was pregnant with my daughter. And, um, I think I found, I don't remember when I found out. Mm. But my little sister, I she came to visit me. I used to live in West Tennessee, uh, over close toward Memphis. I used to live over there, and she came to visit me. And her and my little girl's dad, you know, they were the first two to find out that I was pregnant, you know, that I was expecting. So she came to visit and we kicked it and cooked and, you know, just had a good old time. Okay, so several months pass and it's like, it's September this time of the year beginning of September. Um, actually it had to be in like the 5th, September the 5th. Well, I was driving home from work and um, I called my mom and I was like, uh, mama, I guess I'm going to tell you. Hmm, y'all know what happened, right? I said, I got something to tell you. And she's like, what? You pregnant? <laughs> I said, yes, ma'am. I am. <laughs> she was like, really? I was like, yes, ma'am. And my little sister was there with her. And my mom goes screaming, ah, Jessica, you're going to be an aunt. You're going to be an aunt. And my little sister she can keep a secret. She won't tell nothing. And she, you know, she was looking at my mom, and my mom was like, you already knew? And my little sister's like, yeah, you know. And, um, <laughs> and so we're going on and on, and I'm still driving on my way home, because I had an hour drive. I'm still driving on my way home, and uh, <laughs> my mom was going on and on about excited and all that, and uh, she's like, you're going to tell your dad? I said, no. Mm -mm. I said, you going to tell him, though. I said, you can't. You can tell him. She was like, really? She said, okay. She said, well, get off the phone because I got to call and tell some people. I said, really? Really? I said, okay. So, <laughs> get off the phone with her, and I'm steady more driving on home. And, uh, <laughs> and, my dad calls me and he's like hey monica and i'm like hey daddy he's like well congratulations i said thank you he said well, why was you scared to tell me i said i don't know you know i don't know he said well congratulations i said thank you and we got the phone this is on a thursday so the next day was Friday and I'm laying on my couch and my mom calls me and um, we call my brother on three-way and my older sister and my little sister at home with my mom. We call my brother on three-way and uh, we told him and his wife and their kids and they're all excited. And so we chit-chat for a little hang up. And me and my little sister, you know, we get back on the phone and start talking. She's like, well, I'm going to come up there probably Saturday. I'm like, okay, cool, you know, come, you know, kick it, chill. She, you know, how old is she? She was 20 in 2013? I think, yeah. And so, uh, that happens. Sorry. Oh. Uh, so I'm laying in the bed. I think it'll be 
Saturday morning and I hear banging on the door and then I hear the key turn it's my little girl my boy he was my boyfriend at the time my boyfriend he's coming in and he's running upstairs he wakes me you know I'm up because I hear him he's like put on some clothes get dressed I need you to um take a ride with me I need you to ride with me somewhere I'm like okay I'm like it's five o'clock in the morning where we need to go <clears throat> he wouldn't tell me we get in the car we ride we ride we hit the interstate we ride we riding I'm like where we going you know what he didn't say nothing so by this time the sun is starting to come up and I'm like he takes it and I'm like, so who you texting? We riding. You're not telling me nothing. What is it? My dad calls him. And uh, he hands me the phone. And he's like, Monica. Um, <laughs> he says, Monica. Jessica was killed in a car wreck last night. Ugh, y'all. Yeah. I lost it. I lost it. Here, you know, I was like, you know, I lost it like hysterical. Went crazy. He pulled over and he, you know, I got out the car. Don't know why, you know, at that time mine was, you know, wasn't thinking. Got out the car and I'm like through the phone. It wasn't my phone, it was his, but I threw that joker. And he's just holding me, trying to console me and everything. I'm like, oh, don't touch me, don't touch me, don't touch me. I was like, what? You know what I mean? So come to find out, he's taking me home to where my parents and everyone else is. And, um, uh, you know, we get back in the car finally, and I'm still crying but he's telling me, he's like, you can't be, you know, so hysterical. You know, you're pregnant. You have to calm down some. And so for the rest of the ride, I didn't say a word. Not one word. We pull up to my parents' house. And it's, I mean, it's like it was yesterday, y'all. It's a lot of cars. I mean, both sides of the street line with cars. And it's probably 6, 6.30 in the morning. The pastor of our church was came down from Nashville and stuff. And, um, <clears throat> you know, everyone's there, you know. First person I go to is my mama. You know, we just hugging, hugging, hugging. <sighs> and then my brother and sister came over, and, you know, we all just hugging. My daddy come. We all just hugging and everything. And, you know, I really didn't say much to anybody at that time. You know, people knew that I was pregnant because my my mama only can't hold water. She told everybody. But, um, <clears throat> you know, they took me in the house and I just sat there and rested and, you know. And, um, hmm. And... And my boyfriend at the time, her dad, you know, he was he was emotional. He was upset, you know, because she was supposed to come and stay with me <laughs> to, you know, help take care of the baby. She was going to come move in with me and live with me. And it happened in a blink of an eye, y'all. It's like I told them that Thursday that Friday night, early Saturday morning, she got killed um, on the way home from, she was coming from Nashville, she got killed on the way home. And uh, I was like, wow, like really? She was 20 and she was 20, you know, she had her whole life to live. But um, my boyfriend left and I, uh, I stayed down there. Well, he came back Sunday to pick me up. I didn't even drive my car. You know, I didn't have no car, no nothing. So he came Sunday to pick me up. I had a doctor's appointment Monday. And I remember my mama telling me before I left, she said, Monica, when you go home, don't think too much. She said, don't think too much, you know. I said, okay. And so I go 
and that Monday I go to the doctor's appointment we both did and I got to hear her heartbeat for the first time and I was like oh wow like you know ooh, that's crazy somebody up in there <laughs> but that was crazy and so you know we uh, I went back down drove myself back down and we had a memorial service we didn't do it you know we had her body cremated and um yeah memorial service it was jam-packed people from all over and actually the news station one of the news stations here were in nashville came down and they sat with my parents well not my dad he didn't want to do it but he my mom and my sister they sat and talked talk with them and then they you know saw her room and everything because so many people were putting stuff on facebook and this and that and the news got a hold of it and they was like you know can we come down and talk to you want to do a story on her and so they did a story on her and everything i thought that was amazing and um so months went on months went on and i come to find out what I was having. The gender of the baby. A girl. Should have known. And so. One night me and her dad were looking on the. um, Looking on something. And maybe an app or something. The internet something. And we come across the name Azaria. I was like oh wow. And uh. So we both. You know, it was like We both like this name. Let's do it. We're talking, and I said, you know, I said, see, I want to, um, I want to name her after my sister. I want her middle name to be Ray. He's like, yeah, I do too. And so, that's her name. We got this. And that's her. It. And she better go to the other side. <laughs> But yeah, so we picked the name Azaria Ray. And then my cousin, him and his wife, they get pregnant. Having a little girl. They named her Jessica. And so now we have Jessica Ray. Uh, and y'all, when I say my baby favors my little sister. I be like goodness and sometimes she act like her too some of the stuff she says you know she'll say what my little sister used to say when she was younger and it's just so crazy it's crazy I'm like oh my goodness you know but it's it, it it's hard it is hard but you just got to think of all the good memories. Like, my little sister was 20 when she left us. Um, young, you know, she, the sweetest person you would ever meet. And so, we just, um, we all miss her. And actually, I, I'm telling this story because September the um, 7th, September the 7th made four years since she's been gone and today is what the 10th 9th 10th something like that and so I was like oh goodness let me do a story time um and I just want anybody out there like if you have ever been through something like that it can take a toll on you and me especially and I was like dang she's never going to get to see my child you know she's never going to get to meet her but y'all, she has. Now let me tell you this. As I said, I used to live in West Tennessee. Live by myself, you know. Well, my baby is advanced. <laughs> Woo. She started um she started sitting up at like two and a half, three months, holding her bottle, pulling up and standing up at like um four months or something like that. She started walking at seven. But one day, I was cleaning up. 
and I um I hear the baby laughing and just hee hee ha ha. And I'm like, hmm. And I look around the little corner and she, you know, she's chilly, laughing and everything. And I go back to clean the kitchen. Then she starts crying. I'm like, what is wrong with her? And I said, Jessica, can you please go play with her? Y'all, when I tell y'all, that baby started laughing again. I was like, oh, wait a minute. Uh, oh, goodness. But I do believe that kids are very sensitive to stuff like that. Um, even now, like several weeks ago, my baby um, was at my parents' house and my mom has a like a china cabinet has all her, or is it called a curio cabinet? One of them things. It has all her stuff in it. She loves Hello Kitty. My little sister did. She loved Hello Kitty. Well, my baby is talking to me, and she's like, Mommy, my Auntie Jessie, she died with her husband. I'm like, what are you talking about, girl? You know, hmm. And um, I'm like, what? You know, I'm like, sorry, just be quiet, because my mom was coming back in and didn't want her here. I was like, be quiet, be quiet. And I was like, what you talking about? And she told her. And she was like, they were crossing the road and they both got hit. And that's actually how she passed away. And I'm like, who told you that? You know, who, who, who? She's three. You know, I've never told her anything like that. Because it's too, it's too much for a three-year-old. She's like, God told me. I said, wow. You know, God uses his children. I, I mean, I believe it. But yeah, y'all, that's my story time. And I did that without crying. That's good. <laughs> but yeah, um, if you all liked it, don't hesitate to give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment because I do respond. Um, don't forget to subscribe. I will be doing more videos. I don't have a lot of stories, but I did want to tell that story because, you know, it's, you know, her anniversary just passed. But yeah, thank you all for watching.